She, there was no chance she would walk again. And she gets in with a pretty good shot, but then in turn, Holly Holm comes back on. Yeah, but the first real good exchange, the Holly Holm lands the bigger shot. The style of the fight is clear. And Marie Saccarato coming loaded for... Saccarato wants the fight. Exactly. Did a nice job. But then got turned and took the left hand. I'm the preeminent person in women's boxing in the future. She knows that's still off, but I mean, she was ring fighter of the year last year. She's a very talented fighter. So she, she would like to be the face of the sport. Saccarato doesn't just come running in. There's a good counter right from home. And this time, a right hand and a left hand. In Sakurata's corner, they're telling her to fight, and it looks to me like she's fighting. That's a slip. again now that she has the experience Lara Quente spars with yep. nice exchange here's like just this round of the seven. nice thrown by Chevelle Hall back. so you have to go to the gym and see these little 819s of the whole game Laracuente just TKO the boxer. The boxer, after she lost, came out and said that. Took left hand thrown by. Uh, I guess it really works for both of them. Laracuente with a. Losses to Holly Holm, who's with us right here. Good combination from Chevelle Hallback to begin Play the round. Better in round number two. And they are exchanging. You know, Hallback, after every combination, she'll, a lot of times, every... I'd imagine you'd be a lot more sore from that. She, now she stopped here. She stopped seeing for these folks at home, but, you know, the person with their... When you're dealing with two unorthodox-style guys, a left-hander versus a right-hander, the person... Another ring. <laughs> Good right uppercut from Hallback on the inside. Trying to move, a lot of upper body movement from Chevelle to try to get underneath the punches. And now she's punching back and staggers Blair momentarily. Good combination from Hallback. This is a really hard round to judge here. I think Holly Holm, Frank Trigg were ringside at Pachanga Resort and Casino on a night of IFBA championship boxing. Two outstanding fighters, Chevelle Hallback. And the neat thing about, uh, about Blair is that even though, you know, she's pushing forward, she's really coming after it, she doesn't have that desperate look. Hey, I just got cut. I really got to figure out a way to knock this girl out. But also, Chevelle is selling it like she's not even tired. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, like, what, what, what was that? Like, that was my best thing I've got. And if that didn't even sting you, I'm in trouble. Again, they begin to exchange. Callback perhaps is there. But Blair got her into the kind of situation that she wanted. She wants to exchange punches. You know, Blair was the aggressor for majority of this. A lot of people don't understand how important a corner is. I had to learn the hard way. I've got a couple cuts and have a good... Active, even fighting with her back to the ropes. Not looking to clinch, just as she promised. Not looking to hold. She's just fighting her way out of there. When you pay for a ticket to watch some fights, this is what you want to see. But she's still coming forward. These two are going to finish. At a red hot pace. Uh. Said she's angry and she's focused. She don't wants hold, that belt back. Hold. Belt she lost right here in the. Yeah, she's on a bit of a. Oh, a nice right hand lead though by Hernandez. Catches Brown. Hernandez is turf. Hernandez goes southpaw. Hernandez. Also, has vacated the right-hand lead, which worked so well for her in the beginning. But Brown looking the fresher of the two right now with about... Effective this round. Brown is landing 
And she's keeping herself wide open. Melissa, oh, nice combination by Lisa Cat. Number nine, Lisa Brown in gold. Melissa Hernandez in the white fringe shorts. And it had been all Lisa Brown last couple of rounds. Hernandez. Ooh, there's the right hand lead. Backs Lisa Brown up. Right. Melissa Hernandez. That's far for Hernandez. And she's got Brown on the ropes right above us. Not and they're training action. punches. Hernandez certainly getting the better of it right now. Hernandez getting a second win here too, Jill. She is, I think it's just the excitement of landing a solid punch, it gives you a rush. And she also knows that she needs to take this round. Brown needs to get off the ropes, this is not where she wants to be and she doesn't want to give away this. Straight right hand lead. There it is again. There it is. She's realizing she needs to come in with that. With those right hands at will. Ooh, there was another right hook. She Good round for Hernandez. Melissa Hernandez landing the best punch of the fight. Nice. And there's that same right hand lead. Catches right Brown hand. walking in. There she goes. Back in the center of the ring. Landing a nice right hook. So Brown, she's got to do something to get respect right away. Wrong for Jackie Chavez. Chavez got into boxing because uh, her husband are always working her corner. He has a journeyman welterweight. Nice counter left from Brown. I think Brown has uh, righted the ship here in this round. She might have might have hurt Chavez with that punch. And another big right hand. Big round for Brown. And I, th I think she's being spurred on by the crowd here a little bit. Yeah. Nice finish to the round here by Chavez. She may steal the round with this round. Right? I, I think that's exact on this one. But I, I, I have to harken back to what was talked about today, and that is Lisa Brown saying, well, now she has her judges. She's trying to test that muscle, see if she can make it as a 26 pounder. Sites comes fight back. Four punch combination by Sites. Right nostril of Jackie Chavez. That's got to affect her breathing. Good four punch combination by Sites from the outside. I guess she used that first round as a feeling out round. Having a much better round here. Certainly taking a lot of control. Good point, because in the corner, her nose was running pretty heavily. I'm wondering. Supposed to fight in Germany, got canceled. So she's very happy to be here. Well, she's learned from the best. And she had, you know, there was a certain point where now adjusting to Jerry Sight. Sight's doing everything right. Good, good. Shoe shine on the inside. Think about even being inside. Oh, but she's getting beat by the punch to the punch. Oh, big right hand by Jerry Sights right now over the top. Sights really have an attempt on the part of Chavez. Coming back with a good left-right combination of her own. Back Chavez up. I was telling you that she doesn't belong up here. She's not strong enough. Right now, Jerry Sights just doing whatever she wants to do with her. Just the tap. Let the floodgates open. Could have been. Good point. Very talented. She wants to open a gym for men and women and kids and teach them when she's done. Gets all her experience. And when she does, she might be able to hang the NABF title belt in there. Sites teeing off again right now. Well, she uses that elbow. Low by Sites. Best round since the first for Jackie Chavez. Not sure it was enough to win. Sites finishing strong though. <laughs> three for sight, same thing. Been no knockdowns in the fight. Chavez been plagued by a nose. Weapon. She uses her uppercuts and her hooks and her jabs and her rights. You don't see that a lot of times. Well, she's say. Oh, yeah. Just about 40 seconds to go in the fight. Sight's keeping that left hand down low and then suckering Chavez.